Hey beautiful ladies, back again today with yet another tutorial. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I straighten my hair. I've had a lot of requests, um, people asking me how I flat iron my hair and how I get it to be so flowy. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let's get started. So my hair, oh, my hair is freshly washed. I washed it the day before yesterday and I let it air dry. Okay, so yeah, I just start off by sectioning this little section off in the front. If you see little like flakes in my hair, that is, um, I do have psoriasis in my scalp. So there um, are, you know, like, you know, I do get flakes in my hair. I'll probably do a video on my psoriasis issue some other time. But, yeah. So, anyway, so I just, I section off this section here in the front. And then I like to section off each section on the side. Like this. Okay, so I have the entire front section sectioned off. So, it's pretty much just sectioned off, um right here and then I have them divided into three different sections and this whole front section will be saved for dead last okay so then I just section off a few more sections in the back I'm not really particular about how I do it and um, I just leave the small section in the back so <clears throat> for heat protection I use this heat protection spray which is by a brand called silk element and I really love this heat protection spray I've been using it for years now and um, this is a brand that you can find at Sally Beauty Supply um, it's a really great heat protection spray not only does it protect your hair from the heat but it also gives your hair a nice shine and it um, also moisturizes the hair but without leaving it too oily or greasy and it does not weigh down the hair at all it's very lightweight so and this is my flat iron um, and this flat iron is by a brand called GVP, which stands for Generic Value Products. This is the generic version of the Chi flat iron. Um, a lot cheaper than the Chi. This was $49.99, so $50. Bucks. And I also bought this from Sally Beauty Supply. And this heats up to 450 degrees. And yeah, it's a really great flat iron. It has... Um, uh, ionic plates okay so I just spray um, I like to spray section by section I don't really um, spray my entire head at once because I want to make sure that each section is properly protected and um, I do use the chase method um, but for the chase method instead of using a rectal comb which is what um, most people use I like to use a bristle brush because I feel like it separates the hair a lot better so you get a lot smoother result and um, I do have this neat little tool here which is a double-sided bristle brush that is you know for purposes of the chase method either with the flat iron or it has as you see it has these vents here um, if you are blow drying your hair so I have this but I don't really like to use this one it's just easier for me to just use this one what I do is I just put place the brush underneath the hair and push it up and I make sure that the bristles go all the way through the hair so that the hair is down at the base of the brush that way I know that when I glide down with the brush that it will separate my hair nice and evenly and then I just take my flat iron so um, closer to the scalp I like to run the flat iron about maybe four or five times before I glide it down the rest of the hair and I usually only glide it down the rest of my hair once and um, maybe twice at the most. I am relaxed, but I am four months, I'm right at four months post relaxer. I was previously uh, natural for two years, uh, maybe two and a half years, I'm not sure. And then I decided to go back to relaxers 
Um, so yeah, but I did make the decision that I would not go, I would not get my hair relaxed as often as I used to before. So I decided to try my best to make it um, stretch to four months. So I'm right at that time. Honestly, I mean, I when I was natural, I didn't. I didn't become natural with the intentions of being natural. It kind of just happened. I was dealing with depression. And if you have not seen my videos that I made talking about my battles with depression, I'll link it down below in case you want to watch it. But yeah, so I was dealing with depression really bad. And I just stopped caring for my hair. So I stopped putting my relaxers in and... You know, so eventually my hair ended up being natural. <laughs> my life is just so much easier with relaxed hair. Um, and I've never really had issues with my hair. I've always had, you know, pretty good hair. Thanks to my mother. Um, I never really had, I definitely didn't have problems with growth. Uh, my hair grows fantastically, um, whether it's relaxed or natural. So, you know, it went, there was there really wasn't much reason for me to be natural other than if I just chose, if I really liked being natural, and I really didn't. I did not like being natural at all. And the reason I run the flat iron more times along the roots is obviously because I am four months post relaxer. So I do have a lot of new growth. So I want to make sure that I can get my roots to match the, the shaft of the hair. The key to getting nice and flowy results when you straighten your hair is using very little product on the hair. Um, I don't use anything other than heat protection spray, but I just shampoo, condition, and then let it air dry, or, um, or if I blow dry it, of course, I'll use my heat protection spray. But um, the heat protection spray is all that I use other than the shampoo and conditioner. But yeah, minimal product, no serums, no oils, I forgot to mention that I have my flat iron set to 410 degrees. I don't think I've ever in my life set it to 450. <laughs> Okay, so to get my edges, because I don't like to use any gel or any edge control on my hair when I wear it straight, um, because that just affects the flowiness that I like, I'm going to use my little baby flat iron. I really don't like using this much because there are no heat settings. It's just an on and off switch, so you can't really set the heat. And this little baby gets 
hat. Right now, I don't really have a defined part. But since this section is falling over here, I'm actually going to take my brush and I'm going to brush it over the opposite direction. And I can always switch this part or this here over to this side if I want. You know, it doesn't have to be a specific side, which is why I also like doing it this way. Because I can have my hair go on either side. If you want to, you can always take your rectal comb and, you know, define that part. But I'm okay with it how it is I'm okay with my flyaways I'm okay with imperfection <laughs> you know everything can't be so perfect so don't ex don't expect it to okay and that is how I get my nice and flowy hair to getting the flowiness is using very little product do not pile on a whole bunch of products my suggestion is don't use any products at all other than your heat protection spray so that's it if you have not seen the makeup tutorial for this makeup look um, I did upload that video before this one so I will link it down below or I'll have it somewhere on the screen for you to click on if you would like to see how I got this makeup look that is pretty much it ladies comment down below and let me know what you think of this video and make sure you give it a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you have not already so until next time ladies have a blessed day